What's happening right now from RTV6, the Indy Channel. Tonight on a school cheating scandal that educators call tragic and unprecedented. Flanner House Elementary Charter School is accused of widespread cheating on the I-STEP test and will close next month. Parents are still learning where they're going to send their children when the school closes September 11th. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet is live outside of Flanner House Elementary where parents are looking for answers. Chris. In today's meeting with parents, which is just about to end here at the elementary school, the school board president said that she is looking for legal avenues to keep the school open. Of course, this comes after the board voted on Wednesday to close it, and tonight there is a lot of frustration and anger on the part of parents and children. On Friday, school officials met again with parents one day after announcing that Flanner House Elementary will close in September amid a widespread test cheating scandal. The board chair asked me for no media in the room. Keeping reporters out of the meeting with parents, the school's board of directors have refused to publicly discuss allegations of teachers helping students cheat on the I-STEP standardized test over the last two years. State investigators found an unexplainable, extraordinary increase in test scores. Education officials say pressure on schools to perform well on the I-STEP test likely led to the cheating. It concerns me greatly. The pressure that the teachers must have been under to feel that they had to do something like this, um, it's, it's tragic all the way around. Tragic for children like a Kel Stone whose parents must now find another school for her to attend. Well, honey, how do you feel? Matt, it's sad. Because you love it here? Yes. And so what does this do to her? Obviously, it's tearing her apart. When classes dismissed on Friday, signs of support lined the front of the school. A school tarnished by scandal with nearly 200 children and their parents victimized by an alleged scheme to boost test scores. And one board member said today the vote to close the school was based on no faith in the administration to fix this problem. Reporting live outside of Flanner House Elementary, Chris Prophet, RTV6.